Hello everyone, welcome to Apti Plus Academy for Sales Services. Today I am here to discuss the important current affairs which appeared in past three days. And uh, today's current affairs are going to be important for uh, the syllabus of UPSC, and it is important for other exams as well. And uh, today's current affairs is important because uh, recently we celebrated the 15th August, TK, and uh, in this 15th August we celebrated uh, the Hargar Tiranga campaign as well. And uh, this first article that I am going to discuss is about the Hargar Tiranga campaign and the importance of the Khadi and village industries. So as we all know that the Khadi and village industries, KVICs are very important okay, because uh, even during the uh, Indian national movement, Mahatma Gandhi emphasized the importance of Khadi and village uh, uh, in industries. Okay? So Khadi and village industries, in fact, Mahatma Gandhi emphasized open uh, the economy of India that is to be based on the Khadi and village industries. But uh, today what is happening is that the Khadi and village industries are declining in India. And for this reason, this article emphasizes uh, the fact that what is the importance of the Khadi and village industries industries uh, in India and uh, what is their status and what are the KVIC okay, and uh, what are the challenges that the Khadi and village industries uh, in India and uh, the employees there are facing. Okay, so this article is basically about that and uh, this article is written by uh, our uh, the Sonia Gandhi okay, and uh, uh, that is not quite important and uh, the news is about the the Prime Minister's Hargar Tiranga campaign highlights the moral contradiction as the machine made police star flags often imported overshadow the significance of na our national flag. Okay, so national flag uh, as we uh, celebrated the 78th uh, uh, Independence Day. Uh, take care. So, 70 in this 78th Independence Day as well, the Khadi and village industries are suffering, and uh, the national flag, which is which was supposed to be made from the uh, the the Khadi, is now being replaced by the polyester flags. Okay, so polyester which is the synthetic fiber is being used. So this article is basically about that and uh, the flag code of India has historically required the national flag to be made from the hand spun uh, and hand woven uh, wool cotton silk uh, from the khadi bunting. Okay, so uh, traditionally uh, we used to uh, manufacture the national flag of India with the uh, khadi which is made from the wool and cotton take and even the flag code of India provided for that but what happened to this industry we'll discuss about that this take as what so what is the significance of Khadi and village industries commission so the significance uh, we uh, firstly talk about is the Khadi and village industries commission KVIC take Khadi and village industries are the second largest employer in rural India Okay, this is the second largest employer in the rural India and the next important is it preserves the large heritage of India. So heritage of India uh, which uh, basically contained in the uh, the Khadi okay, is preserved by this and uh, next important is that we discussed about it. It is the symbol of the national freedom struggle. Okay, it Secondly, it preserves the national heritage. Okay, so national heritage is preserved by this and thirdly it is about the national pride so it is uh, concerned with the freedom struggle okay so freedom struggle again this is the symbol of uh, freedom struggle okay so these three significance are quite important and the eco-friendly nature of the production is very important because the production of khadi focuses on the environmental friendly uh, okay, so there is no use of synthetic uh, fibers. There is no use of machine. Okay, so this is also considered to be the environmentally friendly. So this is again important environmentally friendly. Okay, so these four points you have to remember. Okay, so uh, this is the second largest employer. Okay, Khadi and Villas Villas Industries. This talks about the national heritage. National heritage, which is based on the Khadi and village industries, is protected. Freedom struggle, it is the symbol of freedom struggle in India. And thirdly, uh, fourthly, it is about the national pride, take eco friendly nature. So, eco friendly nature is again important. So, this is about the significance and the reason behind the Khadi procurement has fallen. 
recently we have seen that the procurement of khadi in india has also fallen theek hai so there is basically the neglect of mandates see theek hai so government departments are reportedly ignoring or overruling the mandates requiring uh, to procure the khadi basically the government of india mandates that the khadi base products is to be procured by the different government departments but that mandate is not being followed by different uh, departments okay so that is an important point for instance many departments shifted to other materials resulting drop in khadi purchases from 50 to 60 crore per year to 32 crore over the decade okay so different ministries used to purchase the khadi base products from uh, different industries in india and the annual purchase by different ministries were about the 50 to 60 crore per year but recently it has diminished to 32 crore only theek okay, hai so this is again an important point and next important point is the amendment to flag code so in 2022 the government of india amended the flag code of india theek okay? hai and earlier we discussed that the flag code of india mandated that the national flag of india is to be made from the khadi uh, products only but this amendment what it mandated is that the khadi based products is not necessary to be used in the national flags but the polyester products can also be used so for this reason the there is decline in the use of the khadi in the manufacture of the flags in india so this is again important point and uh, so you have to remember this point so machine made polyester bunting for the national flag is being used and next important point is the tax exemption for polyester flags so the government exempted polyester flags from the goods and services tax placing them on the same tax uh, footing as the khadi flags theek hai so khadi se jo flag banaya jata hai that gst gst that is applicable uh, to the products which is made from the khadi is equivalent to the gst which is applicable to the polyester based products uh, which is which is uh, being manufactured as the flags okay so flag mein jitne gst lag raha hai which is made from the polyester fiber same gst is being implemented uh, by the flags which is being manufactured by the khadi theek okay? hai so for this reason gst ka advantage mil raha hai wahan pe पोलिस्टर प्रोडक्ट तो कहीं से भी मिल ही जाता है फॉर इंस्टेंस इंडिया इंपोर्ट्स द पोलिस्टर प्रोडक्ट्स फ्रॉम चाइना ठीक है सो दैट इज गिविंग द कॉम्पिटेटिव एडवांटेज टू दी विच इज द पोलिस्टर फाइबर्स ठीक है सो दैट इज द केस दैट इज द रीजन व्हाई द खादी प्रोडक्ट्स इज लूजिंग द इन द कॉम्पिटिशन विद द पोलिस्टर प्रोडक्ट्स ठीक है सो दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट यू कैन कोड दीज एग्जाम्पल्स एंड केस स्टडीज योर इन योर मेन्स आंसर एंड नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज द इनडेफिनेट स्ट्राइक बाय खादी प्रोड्यूसर्स ठीक है सो कर्नाटका खादी ग्रामोदया संयुक्त संघ ठीक है के जी एस एस द सोल नेशनल फ्लैग मैन्युफैक्चरिंग यूनिट एक्रेडिटेड बाय ब्यूरो ऑफ इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड्स रिजॉर्टेड टू एन इनडेफिनेट स्ट्राइक्स टू प्रोटेक्ट प्रोटेक्ट द गवर्नमेंट्स एक्सेस विच दे व्यू एज डेट्रीमेंटल टू दी खादी इंडस्ट्री सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट सो रिसेंटली वी हैव सीन दैट दी कर्नाटका खादी ग्रामोदया संयुक्त संघ समिति ठीक है सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस नेम दिस नेम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस नेम इज एसोसिएटेड विद द ओनली इंस्टीट्यूशन सोल फ्लैग मैन्युफैक्चरिंग यूनिट एक्रेडिटेड बाय ब्यूरो ब्यूरो ऑफ इंडियन इंडस्ट्रीज सो बीआईएस आई इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर द क्वालिटी अश्योरेंस ऑफ एनी प्रोडक्ट्स इन इंडिया ठीक है सो बीआईएस एक्रेडिटेड यूनिट है दिस खादी खादी ग्रामोदया संयुक्त संघ एंड दिस के जी एस एस इज द ओनली यूनिट विच मैन्युफैक्चर्स द नेशनल फ्लैग्स इन इंडिया ठीक है सो दिस इज अ प्रिलियंस फैक्टर प्रिलियंस पॉइंटर दैट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर एंड दिस ठीक है सो इनडेफिनेट स्ट्राइक बाय खादी प्रोड्यूसर्स खादी प्रोड्यूसर्स इनडेफिनेट स्ट्राइक में था यहाँ पे रिसेंटली सो फॉर दिस रीजन यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा था कि द दिस प्रोटेस्ट शोज दैट द खादी इंडस्ट्रीज इज बींग अफेक्टेड बाय द पॉलिसीज ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट एंड इन द कॉम्पिटिशन प्रोसेस विद द पोलिस्टर फाइबर्स दे आर लूजिंग ठीक है सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट एंड द मार्केट रेगुलेशन फेलियर्स आर ऑल्सो दर द खादी मार्केट लैक्स इफेक्टिव रेगुलेशन लीडिंग टू द सेल ऑफ खादी प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम द सेमी मैकेनाइज चरखाज अलॉन्ग साइड द ट्रेडिशनल हैंड्स फोन खादी ठीक है सो द खादी विच इज बींग मैन्युफैक्चर्ड बाय द मशीन्स आर 
uh, more prevalent in the market and we are not able to distinct or the uh, differentiate between the khadi which is being made from machine as well as the from the charkha okay so uh, we are ba basically the consumers are basically deceived by the uh, manufacturers as well they are not the, the the flags that we get in the market are not genuine at most situations okay so they are being made from the uh, machines but traditionally we manufactured the flags from the hand spun uh, khadi products okay so this is an important point and uh, the lack of global global promotion the government has failed to establish a global audience for indian handlooms okay so particularly khadi for instance khadi sale remains very low accounting for less than 0.22 percent of total textile sector exports okay so india mein jitne textile ka export ho raha hai uska only 0.22 percent is uh, contributed by the khadi okay so this shows that the relevance of khadi is declining the export of khadi is very less uh, in the export of the total textile products of india so for this reason the khadi is seen as the neglected area by the government as well okay so this is an important point so uh, economic pressures on workers okay so khadi spinos are facing the economic hardships with the wages remaining low at 200 to 250 per day despite their labor intensive sector okay so uh, despite uh, uh, employing the large number of the employees in this area the khadi employees are only getting mere 200 to 250 rupees per day only okay so uh, these are the labor uh, issues as well okay so labor related issues and the minimum wage related issue as well okay so minimum wage uh, are also demanded by the people uh, who are employed in the khadi sector all right so these are the important uh, reason behind the khadi procurement why the procurement of khadi has fallen thick okay, and also the challenges faced by the khadi sector and next important area uh, point that you need to know uh, from the prelims perspective is the uh, is about the kbic itself what is kbic kbic is the khadi and village industries commission and it was established in april 1957 by the government of india under the khadi and village industries commission act theek okay, hai so uh, this is an statutory body theek okay, hai and you have to remember this one this is an statutory body and it is aimed at promoting and regulating the khadi industries in india all right and uh, the objectives so far as the kvic is uh, concerned there are three objectives that this organization has the first one is that to provide the employment in the rural areas rural area mein employment provide karta theek hai and uh, we all we only uh, we know about that fact and there is economic objective as well to produce the saleable articles theek hai and the third one is a uh, wider objective to create the self reliance among the people and build the strong rural community spirit theek hai so these are the uh, objectives of kvic and uh, the way forward what we can it uh, what, what we can do to revitalize the khadi industries in india theek hai so we basically can revitalize the government mandates and re incentivize the khadi procurement so the government mandates which basically uh, focuses on more procurement of khadi by the government departments and different organization of the government that mandate has to be revitalized so that more procurement uh, from government end happens although people are not procuring if the people are not procuring then the government can procure take so to ensure that the khadi products are procured in more amount the government can revitalize the mandate of the government of india theek okay, hai so to procure more khadi based products and next important point is that to incentivize theek okay, hai so tax subsidies tax rebates can be given to the khadi industries so that it finds itself in competitive position with the uh, polyester fibers which is being used to manufacture the synthetic national flags in india and next important po point is that global promotion and fair wages theek okay, hai so fair wages which is being demanded by the khadi based uh, villagers and the employees employed in the khadi uh, sector can be given and the global promotion theek okay, hai launch targeted campaigns to uh, promote khadi internationally increasing its market share theek okay, hai so 
uh, internationally as well we can promote the khadi based products for instance there was g20 summit summit this year in bharat mandapam in uh, new delhi we could have promoted the khadi based products there theek hai so uh, we can product the khadi based products in various regions uh, in different ways theek hai global platforms are there and next important uh, article that i am going to discuss today is about uh, the very important issue and this is important for the general studies people too theek hai and uh, this topic is about the lateral entries in upsc theek hai so in bureaucratic post in different higher level of bureaucracy such as the joint secretary level director level deputy director levels etc government is prioritizing uh, prioritizing the uh, inclusion of the lateral theek okay, hai so lateral entrants are being added in the uh, top positions of the government so to uh, to have more experts to have more expertise to have more diversity uh, to make the civil services more challenging the government is basically uh, hiring more lateral entrants uh, from many years theek okay, hai so this time as well government of india had uh, basically uh, released a notification upsc had uh, released a notification uh, which advertised that 45 lateral entrants for different post in government of india uh, is uh open theek hai so this was the notification by the upsc theek hai and this upsc notification by the upsc was also withdrawn it was withdrawn by the dopt which is the department of uh, personal and training theek hai so department of personal and training withdrew the notification after it was being protested by different organization especially the sc sts uh, related organization as well as the backward classes organizations theek hai for instance the chirag pass one who belongs from uh, the backward class uh, in bihar and who is also the union union minister he also opposed uh, the bill and the dopt for that reason was forced to uh, the reject theek hai forced to withdraw the notification related to the lateral entry so this news is very important and this news uh, in this news will analyze what is the lateral entry and how uh, it impacts the administration and what is the way ahead etc theek hai and uh, the why is it news we discussed about it recently upsc issued the notification theek hai the decision faced back class opposition parties who argued that the compromised reservation rights of obcs scs and sts so how the lateral entry will compromise the reservation of scs and sts in india as well we need to discuss about it so let us begin the analysis uh, of this topic theek hai so Uh, talking about the lateral entry what is lateral entry so we just discussed about it lateral entry refers to process of appointing individuals from outside the government directly in the mid level or senior level position theek okay? hai not in the lower level but in the higher level mid level and the senior positions such so if you see in the history of india there were many uh, lateral entrants for instance if you consider manmohan singh himself Manmohan Singh was appointed uh, as the outsider, ठीक है, as an economic advisor. He was not an IAS officer. Bimal Jala Jalan, who was also an IAS, uh, who was not also an IAS officer. He was also lateral entrant. There was Montek Singh Alwalia, who was also the last deputy chairperson of the planning commission. That is the twelfth planning commission. He was also outsider, ठीक है, and there are many people. uh who are outsiders recently arvind varmani has also been uh, included as the lateral entrant so there are many many lateral entrants who are enjoying the top most position uh, in the bureaucracy theek is who did not clear upsc and lateral entrants are those people who did not clear upsc but they are uh, given the higher level uh, position in government of india because of their expertise because of their experience and because of their uh the work theek hai because of their achievements etc and it aims to bring domain specific expertise and fresh perspectives to enhance the governance theek hai so governance mein enhance karne ke liye expertise lane ke liye ye uh, lateral entry use kiya jata hai and these lateral entrants are appointed on contracts for 3 3 years which can be extended to maximum of 5 years theek hai so uh, jo lateral entrants hai unko life time ke liye appoint nahi kiya ja raha hai they are being appointed for a certain period of time only theek hai so that basically lasts from 3 to 5 years only 
so this is an point uh, this is the point and the origin and implementation the concept of lateral entry first introduced under the 2004 to 9 uh, under the and uh, it was strongly endorsed by the second administrative reforms commission okay so this is an important point yeah कंक्लूजन में यूज हो सकता है ये इंट्रोडक्शन में भी यू कैन यूज इट ठीक है सो ए आर सी सेकेंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव रिफॉर्म्स कमीशन ने रिकमेंड किया था फर्स्टली एंड दिस एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव रिफॉर्म्स कमीशन वॉज स्टैब्लिश इन टू थाउजेंड फाइव एंड दिस कमीशन रिकमेंडेड फॉर द लैटरल एंट्री ठीक है एंड इट वॉज लेटर रिकमेंडेड बाई नीति आयोग एज वेल इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन ठीक है सो नीति आयोग ऑल्सो रिकमेंडेड दिस एंड इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन नीति आयोग इन इट्स थ्री ईयर एक्शन प्लान ठीक है यू थ्री ईयर एक्शन प्लान इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट डॉक्यूमेंट ऑफ द नीति आयोग सो दोज हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द यू पी सी मेन्स एंड दे कैन रीड अबाउट दिस थ्री ईयर एक्शन प्लान एंड दे कैन ऑल्सो कोड द थ्री ईयर एक्शन प्लान ठीक है सो नीति आयोग हैज डिफरेंट एक्शन प्लान थ्री ईयर्स एक्शन प्लान टेन ईयर एक्शन प्लान सेवन ईयर एक्शन प्लान एट्सेट्रा ठीक है सो नीति आयोग इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन इन द थ्री ईयर एक्शन प्लान एंड द सेक्टोरल ग्रुप ऑफ सेक्रेटरीज ठीक है ऑन गवर्नेंस रिकमेंडेड द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ पर्सनल एट मिडल एंड सीनियर मैनेजमेंट ठीक है सो नीति आयोग ने टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन में इसका इनका जो रिलीज था फ्लैगशिप रिलीज विच इज द थ्री ईयर एक्शन प्लान इसमें भी इन्होंने रिकमेंड किया था कि लैटरल एंट्री होना चाहिए गवर्नमेंट में ठीक है सो दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एंड ना मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन विच इज द ए आर सी रिकमेंडेशन ऑन लैटरल एंट्री ठीक है सो नॉट ओनली द सेकेंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव रिफॉर्म्स कमीशन द फर्स्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव रिफॉर्म्स कमीशन विच वॉज कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी सिक्स इज अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है सो नाइनटीन सिक्सटी सिक्स में एक एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कमीशन रिकमेंड अपॉइंट हुआ था वो है फर्स्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव रिफॉर्म्स कमीशन उसके बाद डायरेक्टली 2005 में अपॉइंट हुआ था ठीक है आफ्टर अराउंड हाउ मेनी डिकेट्स फाइव डिकेट्स द सेकेंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव रिफॉर्म्स कमीशन वॉज कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड एंड इट वॉज स्टैब्लिश अंडर द चेयरमैनशिप ऑफ मोरारजी देसाई ठीक है सो मोरारजी देसाई जो uh, उस टाइम के प्राइम मिनिस्टर थे वो इस टाइम में यहाँ का चेयरपर्सन था सेकेंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव रिफॉर्म्स कमीशन ठीक है एंड सेकेंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव रिफॉर्म्स कमीशन विच फोकस्ड ऑन प्रोफेशनलाइजिंग एंड रिफॉर्मिंग द ट्रेनिंग एंड पर्सनल मैनेजमेंट विद इन द सिविल सर्विसेज सो इन्होंने फर्स्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव रिफॉर्म्स कमीशन ने ये बात किया था कि यहाँ पे प्रोफेशनलाइजेशन होना पड़ेगा सिविल सर्विसेज सिविल सर्विसेज आर बींग अनप्रोफेशनल दे आर बींग स्टेगनेंट ठीक है सो सो वी हैव टू मेक द सिविल सर्विसेज मोर प्रोफेशनल ठीक है सो दैट वॉज द रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट ए आर सी एंड वेल इट डि नॉट स्पेसिफिकली एडवोकेट फॉर द लैटरल एंट्री इट लेड द ग्राउंड वर्क फॉर द एड्रेसिंग नीड ऑफ द स्पेशलाइज स्किल्स इन ब्यूरोक्रेसी ठीक है सो दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ब्यूरोक्रेसी में एक स्पेशलाइज स्किल्स होना पड़ेगा ठीक है सो स्किल्स देना पड़ेगा ब्यूरोक्रेट्स को एंड दे हैव टू गिवन बी गिवन मोर ट्रेनिंग so that they become more professional that was suggested by uh, by the first arc but the first arc did not directly recommend that there should be the lateral entry but it said that there should be more professionalism in the uh, civil services and uh, the second administrative reforms commission which was constituted in 2005 it recommended the reforms to improve the indian administrative systems effectiveness transparency and citizen friendliness theek hai so ye points aapka keyword hota hai ठीक है सो सेकेंड ए आर सी का जितने भी डॉक्यूमेंट्स हैं स्पेशली सेकेंड ए आर सी का एथिक्स का जो डॉक्यूमेंट है दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर यू एंड सेकेंड ए आर सी में ये इफेक्टिवनेस ट्रांसपेरेंसी सिटीजन फ्रेंडलीनेस ठीक है ऑब्जेक्टिविटी ये सब की वर्ड्स एथिक्स रिलेटेड की वर्ड्स का काफ़ी मैंशन हुआ है इस डॉक्यूमेंट में एंड ये सेकेंड ए आर सी बेसिकली रिकमेंड्स दैट द शुड बी प्रोबिटी ठीक है द शुड बी प्रोबिटी probity is an important term in ethics theek hai which means there should be higher degree of honesty higher degree of integrity integrity is what what is integrity 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 is when there is consistency in thought word and action whatever we think whatever we say and what we whatever we do they should be in congruence they should be in इन कॉन्सिस्टेंसी ठीक है सो इंटेग्रिटी शुड बी देयर इन द पब्लिक सर्विसेस दैट इज ट्रू दे शुड बी प्रॉबिटी एज वेल प्रॉबिटी इज अगेन हायर लेवल ऑफ इंटेग्रिटी यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट प्रॉबिटी एंड इंटेग्रिटी में क्वेश्चन पूछा जा सकता है 
यूपीसी में बहुत बार पूछा गया है इनफैक्ट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्रॉबर्टी एंड इंटीग्रिटी ठीक है सो प्रॉबर्टी इज द हायर लेवल ऑफ इंटीग्रिटी दैट शुड बी देयर इन द सिविल सर्वेंट्स एंड इफेक्टिवनेस ट्रांसपेरेंसी एंड सिटीजन फ्रेंडलीनेस शुड ऑल्सो बी देयर इन द सिविल सर्वेंट्स एंड Uh, in its 10th report the arc emphasized the need for lateral entry in, entry in the higher government position to bring the specialized knowledge and skills uh, that is not available within the traditional civil services theek hai so second arc directly recommended that there should be the lateral entry in the civil services theek hai so this is the first time this was the first time that the lateral entry in the civil services was recommended by any organization and it proposed recruiting professionals from private sector academia public sector undertaking creating a talent pool for the short term or the contractual roles theek hai so different roles ke liye different organizations not only from the private sector but only but also from the public sectors and other areas should also be appointed as the civil servants ठीक है एट इज दी लैटरल एंट्रेंस सो दैट वाज सजेस्टेड बाय दिस सेकंड एआरसी एंड द एआरसी आल्सो रिकमेंडेड द ट्रांसपेरेंट मेरिट बेस्ड सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस एंड स्ट्रेस्ड इंटीग्रेटेड लैटरल एंट्रेंस ठीक है सो देयर शुड बी द मेरिट बेस्ड सिलेक्शन इन द लैटरल एंट्री प्रोसेस ठीक है सो दिस वाज द रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ द सेकंड एआरसी एंड इंश्योरिंग सोशल जस्टिस इन ब्यूरोक्रेसी बाय एज बेस्ड रिक्रूटमेंट टू द फिक्स्ड यूनिवर्सिटी सिस्टम करेंटली एससी एसटी ऑफिसर्स मेक अप ओनली फोर परसेंट एंड फोर पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट ऑफ टॉप ब्यूरोक्रेसी पोजीशन सो यहां पे बेसिकली we are talking about the criticism of this lateral entry why this lateral entry is being criticized by scs and sts in india the reason is that the lateral entrants are there is no reservation in the lateral entry theek hai so lateral entry basically bypasses the reservation policy in india so if you see the data the sc st officers in the top level positions in india are only 4% and 4.9% theek hai so yahan pe 4% scs hai 4.9% sts hai in the top positions such as directors joint secretaries deputy directors mein although india ka jo hai position kitna hai india mein scs and st ka percentage scs the population of scs in india is 16.6% as per the census 2000 11 ठीक है सो सेंसस 2011 का डेटा ये कहता है कि इंडिया में जो एससीज का पॉपुलेशन है व्हिच कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स 16.6 परसेंट ऑफ टोटल पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंडिया ठीक है एंड व्हाट इज द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ एसटीज टू द टोटल पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज द 8.6 परसेंट ठीक है सो ये फैक्ट एंड फिगर आपको याद रखना है सो फार एज द पॉलिटी इज कंसर्न ठीक है पॉलिटी एंड सोशल जस्टिस ये सोशल जस्टिस टॉपिक में आता है जीएस पेपर टू में एंड सो डिस्पाइट द 8.6 पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट एंड सिक्सटीन पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ द एस सीज एंड एस टीज इन इंडिया देर रिप्रेजेंटेशन इन द टॉप लेवल इज वेरी लो विच इज फोर परसेंट एंड फोर पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट ओनली दैट मीन्स द एस सीज एंड एस टीज इन द टॉप लेवल पोजिशन आर अंडर रिप्रेजेंटेड एज पर दिस आर्टिकल एंड दिस इज द फैक्ट एज वेल ठीक है सो वी सी दैट देर इज रिजर्वेशन सिस्टम इन इंडिया रिजर्वेशन इज प्रोवाइडिंग द रिजर्वेशन टू द शेड्यूल कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल ट्राइब्स एंड इकोनॉमिकल वीकर सेक्शन इन इंडिया बट इफ यू सी द रियालिटी इन द टॉप लेवल पोजिशन देर इज लेस अमाउंट ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ शेड्यूल कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल ट्राइब एंड देर हैज बिन प्रपोजल फॉर रिप्लेसिंग द एज बेस्ड रिटायरमेंट विद द फिक्सड टेन यूर सिस्टम अलाउिंग ऑल ऑफिस इक्वल चांसेस टू रीच द सीनियर लेवल्स ठीक है सो दिस इज अगेन एन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एंड यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है कि प्रेजेंटली द रिटायरमेंट पॉलिसी इन इंडिया इज बेस्ड ऑन द एज ठीक है अगर इफ सम पर्सन रीचेस सिक्सटी टू ईयर्स और सिक्सटी फाइव ईयर्स दे हैव टू रिटायर बट द फिक्स टेन ईयर सिस्टम इज बींग अपोज बाई पीपल बिकॉज मेनी पीपल हु एंटॉर्स द ब्योरोक्रेसी डू नॉट गेट चांस टू रीच द टॉप लेवल पोजिशन एज वेल ठीक है बिकॉज फॉर इंस्टेंस शेड्यूल ट्राइब्स एंड शेड्यूल कास्ट पीपल दे मे नॉट बी ऑल दो दे आर एफिशियंट बट some people uh, from different communities may not be able to reach the top position because they enter the workforce or they clear the upsc very late at later age of their life 
but uh, so for this reason they are not able to reach the top position because of the fixed term system fixed tenure system so fixed tenure system is again opposed by the communities which are scheduled caste and scheduled tribe Okay. and the current age based eligibility criteria for the civil services examination uh, disadvantages the SCs and ST and PWD candidates because the PWD candidates and SCs and STs are the people uh, generally who enter the civil services very late okay. so this is the fact and this is the data as well so you have to remember this point and uh, this is the reason uh, the underrepresentation of the cellular caste and cellular tribe in the upper hierarchy of the civil services is the reason why they are protesting against this lateral entry. Okay. And uh, what are the arguments in favor of the lateral entry scheme in civil services? Okay. So, arguments kya hai? in favor of lateral entry, specialized skills and expertise. Okay. So, uh, here pe lateral entry allows the government to recruit uh, the uh, expertise in areas like technology, management, finance, addressing the gaps in knowledge uh, in the generalist civil services. Okay, here is an important point that generalist versus specialist ka debate aata hai pe. Hai? which is more important. Whether we should give the preference to the generalist IS officers Okay, who, uh, uh, who are recruited by the UPSC and whether we should give the preference to the specialist such as the Bimal Jalan, such as the finance minister, and then finance minister and then prime minister of India, Manmohan Singh, such as the person as Arvind Varwani, okay, Amitav Kant, okay, CEO of the Niti Aayog. So, who should be given the preference? based on the specialization or based on the generalization so that is the argument here and uh, this uh, lateral entry who favors the lateral entry says that the there is lack of specialization in IES so for this reason there should be the implementation of the lateral entry where the specialists are given the chance okay so and that has been helpful in the past as well they give the data and facts as well and i just gave the examples as well okay and the innovation and reforms lateral recruits uh, can bring valuable experiences from the private sector ngos and other organizations helping to reform and enhance the administrative process and governance okay so lateral entrance innovation lata hai government governance mein because they have the wide range of ex experience in other areas as well Okay. and uh, the filling the gap according to the department of personal and training data there is shortage of about 1500 is officers lateral entrants can fill that gap so agar bureaucracy mein agar aap dekhoge to there is still shortage of 1500 is officers in the bureaucracy okay so india mein 1500 is officers ka jo shortage hai usko lateral entrants fill kar sakta hai so that is uh, again an important point and next important point is bringing the change in work culture okay it will help bringing the change in work culture in government sector which is criticized for rate tapism rule book bureaucracy and status quo so ye aapko ye jo kuch uh, points hai theek hai they can be your keywords in your exam theek hai so jo status quoism civil services mein hai for instance, they do not want to change. They want to stay the system as it is. They want to keep the system as it is. There should be no outsider influence in the system. So that tendency is to be changed by this lateral entry. And there is also rule book bureaucracy. Bureaucracy should go by the rule. Okay. By hook or by crook, they have to follow the rule that is again being opposed uh, by the lateral entrance who favors the lateral entry in india and rate tapism there is rate tapism in india the if you have to do some work related to some uh, your documentary process for instance say land related document it will take many months or years to complete your documentation process until you pay some money or some bribes okay so to prevent these rate tapism uh, to prevent status quoism and rule book bureaucracy 
the lateral entrance uh, fee was that there should be lateral entry in government and the participatory governance presently governance uh, is becoming more participatory and multi uh, actor endeavor and lateral entry provides stakeholders such as the private sector and non-profits as an opportunity to participate in the governance process okay so participatory governance bhi hoga uh, bureaucracy mein uh, second uh, for instance the second ARC uh, talked about the participatory governance. There should be participation of all sectors, all sections of the people in go governance. If you talk about uh, the uh, village panchayats, for instance, in village panchayats, there is participation of the people in Gram Sabha. There is participation of women. Under the 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act, one third of reservation is being given to women. To, so to that, that one third of reservation ensures that the women, the voice of women is heard in the Gram Panchayats. The voice of the scheduled caste and scheduled tribe people are heard in the Gram Panchayats. And also there is participation of the all the people of Gram Sabha. So Gram Sabha are the basic unit of uh, 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act where there is participation of all the listed voters in that area. So these, uh, you know, 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act, uh, Panchayati Raj system uh, ensures that there is participatory governance at the grassroots level. But why shouldn't there be participatory level of governance in the bureaucracy? So that is the point that is being discussed here. Okay. So that is an important point. And next important point that we need to discuss is the criticisms. What are the criticisms? Again. Lateral entrance said that they, these are the points that we need specialization and uh, some uh, issues are there. So for this reason, there had, has to be the lateral entrance, but there are points of the civil services as well. Take a short tenure. Again, the go central government has set the tenure for joint secretaries for three years which is insufficient for newcomers to fully acclimate, uh, acclimate to the complex governance systems and make meaningful contributions. Okay. So, the governance system that is being given through the lateral entry provides for only 3 to 5 years uh, of service for the joint secretaries. Okay. So, that tenure is very low. Okay. So, uh, that is the criticism and the maintaining objectivity and neutrality, bringing the individuals from diverse background can challenge the objectivity and neutrality due to potential conflicts with the conflicts of interest and impartiality concerns. That is again important point. Jo bahar se hai, jo, the, the lateral entrance, they are not in bureaucracy for many years. Hai? They might lack the sense of ownership. And they might there might be the conflict of interest as well. Because some private people are being involved in the bureaucracy, and that private people might have the private interest. They might be running their own business, the families might be running their own business and the policies that the new lateral entrant makes might favor his families and his relatives. So that might be, there might be rise of conflict of interest in this case. Okay, so this is an again important point and the impact on permanent officers morale. Okay, so uh, bhi permanent officers hai wahan pe, unka morale mein impact karega. Okay. And the potential dilution of merit-based recruitment. Lateral entry might dilute the merit-based recruitment process. UPSC is set to be the toughest exam in the world. So the uh, civil servants, IS officers who are recruited, th uh, recruited through the toughest uh, entrance exams in the world and also the crucial three stages of the selection process. The lateral entrance do not go through these three stages. So that means there might be the dilution of the meritocracy in India. Why is there need for UPSC conducting that exam? If someone can uh, enter the bureaucracy without appearing for UPSC as well. Okay. So that might disincentivize the people who aspires for the UPSC civil services. Okay. So this is again important point and uh, the outsider syndrome. Traditional bureaucrats may resist the lateral entrance. Okay, so outsider syndrome is again important keyword. They might resist the change. They might resist the people who are coming from outside. 
ठीक है एंड दी एक्सपीरियंस रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर सीनियर पोजिशन इन द परमानेंट सिस्टम आई एस ऑफिसर्स आर प्रमोटेड टू दी जॉइंट सेक्रेटरी लेवल आफ्टर सेवनटीन ईयर्स ऑफ सर्विस टिपिकली अराउंड द एज फोर्टी फाइव ठीक है सो जॉइंट सेक्रेटरीज लेवल में प्राइवेट सेक्टर से कोई आ रहा है दैट मीन्स द प्राइवेट सेक्टर पीपल कैन ऑल्सो एंटर ऑर द ब्यूरोक्रेसी ठीक है सो द यूथ जनरेशन द यंगर जनरेशन हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द सिविल सर्विसेस माइट ऑल्सो थिंक दैट दे विल गो टू द प्राइवेट सेक्टर एंड दे विल नॉट प्रिपेयर फॉर द यू पी एस सी सिविल सर्विसेज बिकॉज दे आर नॉट रेलिवेंट ठीक है सो दैट माइट बी द केस एज वेल सो दीज आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट criticisms of the lateral entry system and you have to ro- remember those points and the way forward what we cannot uh, can do is the to ensure the transparency so we have to maintain transparent merit based selection process so even though lateral entries are being done in some cases they should be done uh, in less frequent manner and the meritocracy should also be judged over there Uh, the lateral entry uh, the post the advertisement for lateral entry is being given that doesn't mean that everyone should be uh, called upon and they should be given the pro- position in bureaucracy there should be the fair selection process transparent selection process and there should be the meritocracy in the selection of the lateral entrance as well ठीक है एंड इन यूके यूके सिविल सर्विसेज फास्ट स्ट्रीम प्रोग्राम रिक्रूट्स द इंडिविजुअल्स डायरेक्टली इनटू द सिविल सर्विसेज एट मल्टीपल लेवल्स फोकसिंग ऑन कैंडिडेट्स विद स्पेशलाइज स्किल्स एंड एक्सपर्ट्स ठीक है सो यूके का एक केस स्टडी है एन एग्जांपल है यू कैन कोड दिस सो यूके में क्या होता है कि यूके सिविल सर्विसेज फास्ट स्ट्रीम प्रोग्राम है जिसके तहत सिविल सर्वेंट्स को अपॉइंट किया जाता है डिफरेंट लेवल्स में ठीक है दे आर अपॉइंटेड एट डिफरेंट लेवल्स एंड दे आर नॉट बेसिकली अपॉइंटेड एट द इनिशियल स्टेज ओनली ठीक है सो एंट्रीज आर एट देर एट मल्टीपल लेवल्स जैसे कि इंडिया में होता है कि यू हैव टू एंटर द सिविल सर्विसेज एट द प्रोवेशनरी लेवल ओनली इन द प्रोवेशनरी लेवल ओनली यू कैन एंटर द सिविल सर्विसेज आफ्टर दैट यू कैन ओनली एंटर थ्रू द लैटरल एंट्री दैट इज ऑल्सो हैपनिंग इन द फ्यू ईयर्स एज वेल इन द पास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स एज वेल बट यूके में द प्रोसेस इज गोइंग ऑन एंड इन द डिफरेंट स्टेज फॉर इंस्टेंस जॉइंट सेक्रेटरी में हो रहा है हो रहा है डायरेक्टरियल पोजिशन में हो रहा है ठीक है कैबिनेट सेक्रेटरी के लेवल में हो रहा है सो देर आर डिफरेंट एंट्री पॉइंट्स दैट वी कैन ऑल्सो test that kind of uh, uh, the the situation that kind of uh, the civil services exam that is conducted in uh, uk theek hai and training for the lateral entrance theek hai we can give more training to lateral entrance at par with the uh, civil servant who cleared the upsc theek hai and uh, clear expectations and role definition ठीक है सो दे शुड द रोल शुड बी क्लियरली डिफाइंड रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज शुड बी गिवन एट पर विद द सिविल सर्विसेज एंड रिलैक्सेशन ऑफ द एज बैरियर टू अट्रैक्ट टॉप टैलेंट एज रिक्रूटमेंट्स फॉर जॉइंट सेक्रेटरी पोजीशन शुड बी रिलैक्स टू इंक्लूड द कैंडिडेट्स एज यंग एज 35 इयर्स ओल्ड ठीक है सो यंग कैंडिडेट शुड ऑल्सो बी रिक्रूटेड ठीक है एंड लैटरल एंट्रेंस डजेंट मीन दैट ओनली द ओल्ड पीपल शुड बी सेलेक्टेड दैट इज अगेन एन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट सो इन द पास्ट मोन टैक्सिंग अलोवालिया बिमल जालान वी डिस्कट अबाउट डिस्कस्ट अबाउट दैम सो दीज पीपल वर ऑल द लैटरल एंट्रेंस ठीक है सो दीज वर द वे अहेड एंड दीज वर द इंपॉर्टेंट क्रिटिसिजम्स ऑफ द लैटरल एंट्रेंस ठीक है एंड सो दीज करंट अफेयर्स आर गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड यू हैव टू रिमेंबर वन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट रिलेटेड टू दी रूस्टर सिस्टम इन इंडिया यहाँ पे मैंने डिस्कस नहीं किया था उसके बारे में एंड वाई इज द शेड्यूल कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल ट्राइज पीपल आर अपोजिंग अगेंस्ट द Reser- uh, lateral entry. We discussed that the, there is less representation of scheduled caste and scheduled tribe in top level of bureaucracy as compared to their percentage of total population in India. But there is also one reason, which is the rooster system. So rooster system is again important. ठीक है. So India में 13 rooster point. इसके तहत reservation दिया जाता है. ठीक है सो थर्टीन रोस्टर पॉइंट इज बेसिकली द प्रोसेस थ्रू इज द रिजर्वेशन इन सिविल सर्विसेज आर गिवन फॉर इंस्टेंस इफ फर्स्ट वन इज जनरल ठीक है सेकेंड वन इज जनरल थर्ड शुड बी ओ बी सी फोर्थ शुड बी एस टी लाइक दिस ठीक है सो दिस इज नॉट द 
करेक्ट फैक्ट बट ऐसे करके रिजर्वेशन दिया जाता है सो वन टू थ्री फोर्थ फोर्थ वन शुड भी नेसेसरली एस टी थर्ड वन शुड भी नेसेसरली ओ बी सी सेवेंथ शुड भी नेसेसरली ई डब्ल्यू एस ठीक है सो दैट रोस्टर सिस्टम इज देर इन द सिविल सर्विसेज बट इन लैटरल एंट्री सिस्टम द थर्टीन पॉइंट रोस्टर सिस्टम इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल ठीक है सो दैट मीन्स द रिजर्वेशन दैट इज बींग प्रोवाइडेड टू शेड्यूल कास्ट शेड्यूल ट्राइब्स ई डब्ल्यू एस आर नॉट एप्लीकेबल इन द लैटरल एंट्री सो फॉर दिस रीजन लैटरल लैटरल एंट्री इज बींग क्रिटिसाइज बाई द शेड्यूल कास्ट एंड शेड्यूल ट्राइब्स एंड इट विल अगेन रिड्यूस द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द इकोनॉमिकली वेकर सेक्शन ऑफ द पीपल इन इंडिया सो दीज वोर द इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स दैट आई डिस्कस टूडे सो दीज current affairs are going to be very very important for all of you so we'll meet again in the next video uh, till then take care thank you